Hello to Wandroid Man, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time, we have fought with Leon and lost. There he is. And discovered what the Heartless is. And now this time, with post-commentary, we are going to find the leader of the Heartless. Oh, so we had the Guard Command. So... As long as you're at the level 9 that I recommend you to be at, you don't need to fight any more of the Heartless. You can just dodge them. There is no need to fight them. So, just basically run away, and basically we're just going to the 3rd District here. There will be a couple of Heartless here, but they can't really stop you, so just keep on moving forward. <clears throat> now... At this point, make sure you have any potions that you want, the abilities that you need. So for instance, since we had, took the Dream Shield, we have the Guard Command. If you had Sword, you get scared. If you have Wand, I believe it's some magic ability. So, let's step forward and begin to find the leader of the Heartless. Eventually, we'll step forward. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. And now we fight more Heartless, but this time with two party members, Donald and Goofy. Our party member is being Donald, who can actually cast spells like fire, like we see right there, and Goofy, who is generally a hitter. Anything that hits a shield does damage. And here we have our first boss, Guard Armor. Now this is why I recommend you being at level 9, because this one can easily be hard or easy. What I recommend here is to at least stay away from it when it's doing that arm swinging motion, but you want to focus on its limbs first. It will detach its limbs eventually from its own body, but take care of the limbs first. You'll have an easier battle. And let's see here. So with the arms that arms, all you have to do is just be careful of it just attacking. They're the easiest pieces to take out, so I recommend taking them out first. Once you destroy one of the limbs, it will drop health, so take advantage of healing during that time. Otherwise, we got the arms down. Next up comes up the legs. Every time they make a step. It's more of a shockwave, so be careful when attacking near them because they can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. So, attack when you need to, and if you can deflect it, their attacks, you can stun the legs momentarily. And they don't need to be separated from the body for you to do damage either way. Of course, you can also damage the body as well. Nothing stopping you from doing that. You actually win the battle if you fi finish off the body first. But I recommend going for the limbs because that is experience that you can go for. And of course, Goofy heals Donald, so I'm going to heal myself. And let's... Yep, there's where you can deflect it and just paralyze it for a little bit. That's one leg down, one leg to go. Go. I do remember having puns on the original recording, but I don't remember what they were. Oh well. 
Well, time to take out the body. Even though you have the arms and legs down, the body still is still have moves on its trick. Once its arms and legs are gone, it'll just start spinning around doing damage. At this point, you don't want to be near the body. But otherwise, it's an easy boss. Goofy gets it. Level up with, and learns jackpot, and we win. We have tamed the brave warrior. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Cool. No problem. No side friends. Okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Let's go run some happy faces. Happy? Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Slug on the ice, they're all real rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. So, we have ominous villains there. Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here. They've got pr some pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us. Obtain 100 money. Spend it as you see fit. Good luck. I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. The gummy ship is outside the gate. Oh, that gate. You can teleport to the gummy ship from save points. Open the save menu and select gu gummy ship. Not all save points let you board a gummy ship. The what? That's our ship. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Sorry, this is for you. Attain the power of fire. Learn magic spell fire. Select magic to cast spells to cast quickly. Assign the spells to shortcut buttons in the customization menu. Cast a spells consume MP. Using ethers or striking enemies to replenish MP. Now you can use magic too. 
Goofy, give him that other thing. What? You know. Oh, yeah. Sora, learn dodge roll. Abilities, activate abilities by equipping them. Some abilities are used by pressing square. Others work automatically. Equip them in the abilities menu. Activating them requires AP. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way, huh? Okay, is that it? Let's get going. Not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming their ways. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of all, all in my journal. Yep, we now have defeated guard armor, so... We could probably do some preparations, which we should stop by the item shop, but... Hey, look at this mark! I wonder what it is. This is a trinity mark. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity moves ba based on tricks. So, with the trinity, you'll see a bunch of color ones. Right now, we can only use the blue ones. So, this one leads us up here. So, how about we... Open this treasure chest because if we jump down, there's no we won't be able to get this later on then. And then we can jump down. How about we go talk to Leon and Yuffie? And Aerith. These are there are Dalmatians named Pongo and Perdue living in the second district. What's wrong? They're quite upset, these Dalmatians. They've lost their puppies. Squalls ca can't stop worrying about them. Call me Leon. Sora, would you look for the puppies? Help them out? So yeah, there will be puppies around the other worlds. We still can't open that. We don't have the ability to do that yet. But yeah, there will be puppies around other worlds that we can find and we can claim rewards. So let's go and talk to the item shop. I'm here to shop because it does have a few new items. Being that weapons for both Donald and Goofy. So we have the Morningstar Warhammer for Donald and the Smasher and Stout Shield for Goofy. Unfortunately, Goofy's weapons are a little too expensive, so we're going to try to buy Donald's weapon first, which is going to be the Morningstar. Well, I'm going to see if I can try to sell anything, but I don't really have anything that will bring my stuff up. I forget if the pretty stone is used for full later. I will find out, out if I can sell it or not, but otherwise... There's really nothing I can really sell, but don't worry. There is a good way to get a lot more money. Starting with getting ourselves the Morning Star. If I get to the Morning Star, Yeah, I looked at the Warhammer, and I, reducing MP for Donald is a bad idea. So, the Morningstar is more recommended. And as for Goofy's weapon, you have the Smasher, which is just a small shield, and the Stout Shield, which is a large shield. I'm going to try to buy the Stout Shield later on for Goofy, so he can do more attacks. But otherwise... We still have a lot more exploring in Traverse Town to do. I don't believe the access. I believe the sex accessory shop does not have any new items, but I might as well just check to see what was in there. Because around this point, I'm just looking for blue trinity marks as well, because you can get a lot of good items. So, the next thing you want to do is basically go to the 3rd District again. So, I'll meet you at the 3rd District. So, here at the 3rd District, there are a few things that we want to do. That we couldn't get here on our first visit because we were attacked by Heartless. First things first. 
Unlock this door. It will allow us to go from the first district to the third district with no problems. The next thing is go up here and there should be a blue trinity mark. And with this blue trinity mark, we get money and items. We're already close enough to bind that stout shield again. Make sure you collect every money because they can disappear. And we got ourselves a camping set. Which will heal the party once we get to the menu. Now here we have a door. And it bottles with the flame symbol. No matter what we do, it won't open the door. Unless we use a certain spell called fire. I'll get into more of what magic does in a moment. Right now we have a little platforming challenge, so let's see if we can try to platform these things, which I already failed on, on the first attempt. So let's try this. Those platforms will move back and forth and won't stop moving the moment you get onto them. So make sure you make sure you time your jumps correctly. So all we have to do is jump to the next one, to the next one. And the final one is more or less easy. Just gonna check around the island to see if there is anything for us to collect, which there really isn't. There is a yellow trinity mark, but we still can't use that. So, let's just go into this empty room. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? You arrived sooner than I expected. What? You knew we were coming? Of course. Are you a heartless? He doesn't look like one. Oh my no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. I spend much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald, Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Oh, so you have found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment. Presto! If only I knew the lyrics to his little song that he does here. But a great way to move into a place. Ooh, now blue trinity mark. There now! Ahem! Your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. We can start anytime you like. Let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. Hello, I'm the Fairy Godmother. Your king asked me to help too. I will assist throughout your journey. I do not know how much I could be of help, but do stop by any time. So, let's get this blue trinity mark first. Which will give us lots of money. Make sure to collect every one. They, it will disappear, though. There we go. And if we talk to the fairy godmother... My world has disappeared, too. Yeah, that's all she'll say. 
She'll become la useful later. Right now, we can't do much about it. For right now, let's talk to Marlin and let's practice magic so I can explain what magic is. Uh, let's go talk to Merlin. You can practice casting spells here without depleting MP. Merlin Furniture will be your target. You can have it either move around or stay put. When you're ready to call it quits, walk up to Merlin and select Cancel. Yeah, let's practice magic. Which type? Moving. Off we go! So, to get more to the explanation of how magic works. Lock onto a target, select your spell, and it'll cast a spell. For example, we have fire, which will just basically throw a fireball at said target. Now, there is another way for us to basically go for it, which is our shortcut for for three select spells that we need. Right now, we only have fire, but if we use this shortcut, we can actually cast fire multiple times without having to go through the menu every time. Keep in mind, these spells do cap. These spells do cast cost magic points, which we do have to be wary. So right now we can only fire two fire ma spells at the same time. If you want to replenish magic, either use an item or basically attack the enemy. Now I went to the customization options to change up how Goofy and Donald works. Depending on how your playstyle is, you might want to change how your party members act because based on the means on the internet, it shows that Donald is a useless healer, but your party members are not that useless. You can change them on how they fight. So as you can see, I put Donald to occasionally doing regular attacks because I want Donald to do offense more or less focus on using magic. And the thing is, We also do have the items. Put those only on in emergencies because you your party members will waste them if they your party members will waste your items on a whim if they feel like you need them. So this is why I'm going to set Donald to. Which yeah, I'm still explaining why it's only good to be having it in only emergencies. And we go to Goofy. Now, here's the thing about Goofy. Goofy cannot cast any spells, but he does have techniques and a special attacks that does require MP. So, even so that it doesn't seem practical for Goofy to have a magic point bar, it's there for a reason. Don't ever use your either it's on Goofy because he's more or less just going to be your general attacker. Speaking of general attacker, let's put put one of his special attacks on right now, being Rocket, which is a airborne a leap at an airborne enemy, and Jackpot, which basically receives more HP and MP balls in battle. We will definitely need that for later. Donald doesn't get any abilities, but. Donald does have the fire spell, so that's a good little trade-off. And of course, we do have the dodge roll, which is basically what it is. That's a guard. That's a dodge roll. Now we have more ways of blocking and dodging than we did before. At this point, we would have probably been able to beat Riku in Destiny Island if we had those two moves. So, let's go back downstairs. And at this point, I did try to talk to the fairy godmother one more time to see if anything happened. Every time you try to talk to her, this animation does play, so... Unfortunately, she cannot help us at this moment. So, with the treaty marks that we have with the money here, I'm going to go back to the first district, so I'll meet you right back there. So, back at the first district... There is one more blue training mark I did forget. It is actually near the gate. Which is right over there. This one should actually give us a lot of money, to my knowledge. 
Well, of course, to my knowledge, I already played through this. And whenever you see, like, those big money balls, make sure to collect them. They, ha they have a lot of money into them. So, we do have enough to buy that stout shield. So, let's go back to the item shop. To the item shop. Actually, this is for actually a point where I actually go look for more blue Trinity Mark. So, I will be back once we get to the item shop. So now that we're back at the item shop, let's buy that stout shield. I do see that Huey, Dewey, and Louie do switch positions every now and then, but it doesn't really change on how they talk. So let's buy that stout shield. And I'm going to buy a few more high potions with the money that we have left over. And we'll go outside. And I'm just gonna go to the center here and oh wait, yeah. We will find postcards, so every time you put in a postcard you get items. For example, the first one gave us a cottage. The second one, Mithril Shard. The third one, Mega Potion. And I think that was all the po postcards we had right now. So, if we go into our equipment, both Donald and Goofy have their own equipment slots as well. For example, we have the Stout Shield, which doesn't really change anything, but I just like the fact that it looks like it has a face. So, I do equip this as well. Of course, we do have the Brave Warrior accessory, and I look at it and I'm like, actually, I want this Brave Warrior. So, I take the protect tech chain off of me, and give it to Goofy, and Donald, I'm sorry, but I don't have any good things to give Donald, I, and I forget to give Donald his weapon as well, and Goofy has a lot of potion slots since Goofy can't use really much for p magic, so what I did here was I gave Goofy a bunch of potions. If I find out that Goofy eats through those potions very fast, I will probably try to limit on how many potions that has, or probably just make sure I have Goofy equipped for important battles. Which should not be m much of a problem. Um, yeah, th I find this kind of... Uh, I'm trying to get potions onto Goofy, and I accidentally select a different character's name. Now, for Donald, on the other hand, I actually decided to equip Donald with an Ether. Not an Elixir, an Ether. That way, Donald has at least a free recharge on, on his magic. As for myself, I will worry about that later. And then I remember that I forgot to equip the Morning Star onto Donald. So, let's equip the Morning Star. It does do more damage for Donald, so that's at least good. I think that's the one good thing I did for Donald. <laughs> but otherwise, we have our weapons equipped, our potions equipped, our abilities equipped, and... More or less, the last thing I show off is more or less the journal, which we can basically see what we had discovered already. If you ever want to look at something, you can look through the journal. For example, we have 17 Trinity Jumps to find. We've only found four of them. So, with Guard Armor defeated, Donald and Goofy now party members, and being prepared to go to a new world next time on Kingdom Hearts. We are going to go travel to a new world.